Hey everyone, how's it going? So you're about to watch a video on the deliverance we did on a sister named Josephine. This is a really interesting deliverance case. It's interesting that it happens to be one of the first that I've posted on my YouTube channel. So we first saw Josephine back in 2019 and she came to Art Montgomery uh, with FBI Christ to get deliverance because she was dealing with chronic panic attacks. Basically anytime she would leave the house, she would have a panic attack. And when I say panic attack, it's not like what you may think of as a normal anxiety attack, but she was basically having a demonic manifestation, a bunch of crazy stuff. And, and a lot of other uh, things where Satan was really afflicting her life. So she came and we ministered to her back then and she got some relief, but she was not totally free. So she came back to us again in 2020, around the same time. And we ministered to her another time for a extended period of time and she still wasn't completely free she went to i don't know how many but she went to a number of deliverance ministers between the times that she had seen us and there was only remedial deliverance so she finally came back here and this is the recording you're seeing today for the third time she's seen us now it was just my wife and i today it wasn't my team or art or anyone else and uh, we prayed for her and the demons manifested as before and we could tell that this time that they were a lot weaker. This is not as wild or as crazy as the previous times that we've seen her. So there has been some improvement in all the ministries uh, that she's gone to see. But this time, uh, from what I'm understanding and, and from what I've heard from her, she has not been dealing with these issues anymore and it seems that she is uh, finally good to go and she's free and She's uh, doing great. So please pray for her if you see this video and pray that God would continue to bless her and keep her safe as uh, she's continuing to seek Jesus. But one thing that's important about this case that I think we should point out is sometimes we will try to, you know, get our source from people or we try to go after deliverance ministries and, and get deliverance and that's fine. But there does come a point where we need to examine our life and, and just focus on Jesus instead of on the enemy. And I explained this to Josephine when we did the deliverance on her that I think one of the tactics that the enemy used in her life was to get her focus on all the problems. Recently is a good metaphor for this. Uh, there's some silver uh, articles that I'm polishing at work and you basically, when you polish silver, you're putting the stuff on and then you know the black goo comes off and it gets rid of the tarnish. Deliverance can be compared to this, that we see uh, a silver kettle or something and we put the polish on and all that black crap comes off. But we can look at the kettle and see there's some kind of microscopic imperfection and we keep applying uh, more silver polish and more black goo will come off and legitimate tarnish is coming off and it is getting cleaner. But it gets to a point where we don't want to look for microscopic issues anymore. We don't want to go after and try to find the tiniest bit of tarnish in that silver anymore. We just want to focus on the beauty for what it is. And there comes to a place where we want to just focus on what Jesus has done for us. We want to focus on what Jesus is doing for us and not have our focus on trying to fight the enemy. We do need to fight the enemy and you should know anybody who believes that I believe that we need to fight the enemy. We need to pay attention to that when, when the time is right. But our primary focus should always be on Jesus. And with that focus, will come victory. So there was a number of reasons. I don't know why exactly today there seemed to have been great success with Josephine, but there was and we praise God for that. So I hope you are encouraged by this video. If you have any questions about Josephine's case or about any of the tactics used in the deliverance, please feel free to comment or message me on Facebook. Hope you guys enjoy it. how it's going to go. Every time you scream, I'm going to command the angel to pull out one of your teeth. Do you understand me? Pull them out. Pull them out. One more. Okay, there's another one. Pull it out. So if you want to keep misbehaving, that's what's going to happen. Now this is what you're going to do. Look at me. Jezebel. 
What are you holding on to? Where did you come in? Five more angels right now in the name of Jesus. Bind it up right now. Stick your spears through it right now. Force it to speak. Force it to speak. Force it to speak. Make its mouth open. I lose the spirit of truth on right, right now. I lose the spirit of truth on you. Force you to speak the truth right now. I hear with, with the letter B. I don't know what it is. I hear a B. Something with a B. Okay. You spirit, you come up. You come up. You come up. Totally the service right now. You tell me what your name is. You tell me what your name is. Jesus, I strip you of your sword of untruth in the name of Jesus. I take off your shield of doubt right now. I break off your helmet of doubt in the name of Jesus. I rip off your sandals of false peace right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Jezebel. There. Rip out her hair. Stick, 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 your, stick your swords in her right now. Torment her right now in the name of Jesus. Jezreel, eat your flesh right now. You ready to cooperate? Are you, are you, are you scared of somebody who's not alive anymore? Look at me. Answer me. Angels, stick your fishing hooks in, into his tongue and make it answer me. Look at me. No, I forgot to rip your makeup off. I rip it off right now in Jesus' name. I strip you of all your armor right now. I curse you with the curses in Deuteronomy 28 right now. That fear would fear and confusion and hornets would come into your camp right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That you would be driven away by, 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 the, by the angel of the Lord. Look at me. Is there a curse that hasn't been broken on the mother's side? Yes or no? Okay, you want some more? I release more dogs on you right now in the name of Jesus to devour your flesh right now in the name of Jesus. Renounce the witchcraft. The witchcraft of my grandmother. Of my grandmother. And, and all ancestors. And all ancestors. And all ancestral rituals. And all ancestor rituals. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Answer my question. Shut up. I said answer my question. Shut up. We got we gotta get that hurt out yeah. before we can we can handle it because um, that that's what hurt that's what gives the demons the right you know it's that trauma. I'm like at a young age, it was like 14, um, I started going out. I was very uh, promiscuous, like I was out there. So I was seeking that love from guys, you know, trying to get that love that I didn't get. Anyway, yeah. You let it out. You need, this is, yeah, this is very important. Yeah, this is the time. It's okay to yeah, cry. So I was like seeking that out there. Yeah. And then um, even if the guys were... Um, very like mean or whatever, I still do it and I was trying to prove myself to them. I right. would still like throw myself at them. <laughs> and that's another thing too, it sounds like you're trying to keep like, you have to prove yourself a lot because yeah. you didn't have to believe you were a kid, right? Close your eyes, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I forgive my grandmother. I forgive my grandmother. I, sh I shred up the IOU. I shred up the IOU. Forgive her. And I forgive her. Let her go. I let it go. I break. I break. Every word of her she spoke over me. Every word of her she spoke over me. You just say them and say I break it. I break it. In Jesus' name I break. Every word of her saying that I was stupid. That my cousins were better than me. In Jesus' name I break. Every spoken word of over me. And her saying that I wasn't pretty or good enough. In Jesus' name. Break every word curse of her saying that I was dirty or ugly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You said she locked you in, in the room. Right? She locked me in the room. Okay. Why don't you just close your eyes? You spirits said you're gonna go back down. You go back down, you get out of the way. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Please show me. Please show me. Where Jesus was. Where Jesus was. When I would be locked in the room. When I would be a walk in the road. Jesus was with me. Say so what lie did I believe? You spirits, you go back down. I bind you right now. I bind all your ligaments in the name of Jesus. You will not interfere. You stay out of the way. What lie did 
it, I believe. Do you want me to say the line? Yes. Okay, I believe that uh, my cousins were prettier than me. I believe that I wasn't good enough. I believe that I wasn't smart enough in school. <laughs> And renounce those lies. I renounce those lies. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Tell me what the Father thinks about me. Tell me what the Father thinks of me. They like kind of break a little when stuff like that happens to us because our bodies were not meant to ever process anything like that. God did not intend for us mm -hmm. to experience that. Um, but unfortunately, this is a broken world and we have to deal with it. Did you say, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit? Show me the first time. Show me the first time. I felt betrayed. I felt betrayed. When I bind you spirits, you stay out of the way. Say, I renounce not trusting others. I renounce not trusting others. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Show me the truth. Show me the truth. I'm not, I'm not hearing anything. You don't hear anything? Okay. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Show me. Show me. How I can trust other people. How I can trust other people. And what your word says. And what your word says. And I heard also you're trusting God, not man. That when you're opening yourself up to somebody, you're trusting God to protect you, mm. not yourself. Mm. Say, so I renounce. I renounce. Having to trust myself. Having to trust myself. Instead of trusting that God would protect me. Instead of trusting that. Again. Instead of trusting. Instead of trusting that God. That God would protect me. Would protect me. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. That you protect me. That you protect me. How does that feel? Reassuring. Yeah. That's good. I want you to say, I renounce. I renounce. The spirits of betrayal. The spirits of betrayal. Oh, you're not going to talk. You're going to stay down. Rejection. Rejection. Abandonment. Abandonment. Emotional pain. Emotional pain. And fear of rejection. Of rejection. I break. I break. All generational rejection. All generational rejection. And abandonment. And abandonment. All right. Abandonment, rejection, mm -hmm. fear of rejection, betrayal. Come up and out and go to the pit. Come up and out and go to the pit. Come up and out and go to the pit. Come up and out and go to the pit. Come up and out and go to the pit. Come up and out right now. Let her go. That's right. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Let her go. Come out. Come up and 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 out right now. Let her go. Let it go. A deep Let hurt, come out. You spirit of deep hurt, come out. Spirit of deep hurt, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Oh, it was an easy bunch, huh? Yeah, I felt clear. Praise God. Now, then we could have wrestled with them for 20 or 30 minutes, but the inner healing was what they were holding on to. Amen. So that is okay. that's important. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, and I think it's so important to know that God like, wants to heal your heart. He doesn't want you to be in pain. He didn't make us to suffer down here, you know? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to help others who are suffering and fight for themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He wants you to fully understand his love, and you don't fully understand his love quite yet. And he wants to engulf you in that, um, but you, you need to know that you're worthy of it. You hear him saying, I want your eyes on me. saying, allow me to put my hands in your heart. 
and obliterate all darkness. Call in my name when your heart hurts, and I will take it away. Trust in my name, I will take it away. I will not let the, the enemy hurt you. I will not allow him to touch you. Sort of the spirit right through you, in Jesus' name. I torment you, I torment you, I torment you. You have no more right to her, and you're not going to come back to this bloodline. I bind you. You have no more power over her. You have no more power over her. Say, I fear. I command you to say it. Say, I fear. Say, I fear. Say it. I cut your head off. I cut your head off. I cut your head off. You say it right now in Jesus' name. You're going to say it. Say, I fear. I fear. With all my kind. With all my kind. Go now. Go now. With all the trauma. With all the trauma. And pain. I leave this bloodline. I leave this bloodline. And I am bound to my word. I am bound to my word. Never to come back. Never to come back. Say, I go. I go. To. To. The. The. Pit. Say it. Pit. Come out right now in Jesus' name. You come out right now in Jesus' name. Every last piece of you, come out. Come out. Come out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. I break you out of her. I break you out of her right now in Jesus' name. Come out. All of you. All of you right now. All, all painful memories in Jesus' name. I break you out. I break you out of her in Jesus' name. Come out. 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 You're bound to your word. You are bound to your word. You are bound to your word. Jesus, kick these demons out right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, push them out. Angels, push them out right now in Jesus' wow. name. Let her go. Out right now in Come Jesus' name. Out Come name out. Of Jesus. You let go of her. You let go of her. I cut off the silver cords. You will not hang on to her anymore. I command you by Christ to come out. I command you by Christ to come out. I command you by Christ to come out. I command you by Christ. Every last bit of you come out in Jesus' name. Every last bit of you come out. Come out. Come out. Right now. Right now. Fire! 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 In the name of Jesus, you come out. You come out. Fear. 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 Do you know what I did to Jezebel? How is she looking right now? How does she look? Have some teeth missing? Do you want to look like that? I'll make you look twice as bad if you don't come out. You're either going to come out right now, or I am going to torment you for 20 minutes straight and you're gonna look twice as bad as she is. Is that what you want? Are you gonna come out right now? Yes or no? Yes or no? Off right now in the name of Jesus. Rip its whole jaw off right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break its nose in the name of Jesus. Stab, beat it with rods in Jesus' name. Beat it with fire right now. Fire, fire, fire. Rip out its, rip out its wings, rip out its horns. You ready to leave yet? Yes! Really? Get me out of here. Get you out of here? Look at me here. Let me tell you something. If I find out that you're gone and somebody else casts you out later on, I can still hurt you wherever you are after that. <laughs> Do you understand that? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes or no? Thank you. 